Is artificial intelligence going to take over the world? I'm not gonna lie. When ChatGPT first came out, there was a collective groan and fear that could be felt rippling across academics, especially in the humanities, because we thought to ourselves, what's happening here? Is something taking over all of the vital skills that we teach? We teach writing, we teach reading, we teach argument. It seemed like suddenly there was something that was gonna do all of this for us. So I had a year of an existential crisis like many others did. And then I realized this isn't the way to do it. Who better to think about the ethics and practice of using a artificial intelligence than a philosophy professor? So after I went through my crisis, I decided it was time to learn as much as I possibly could about AI to see what it was useful for and also what it's not useful for, what we can incorporate into our education and our practices, and maybe what we should stay away from. So after I spent some time learning and reading, I took a class on teaching with AI that was sponsored by my dean, and then I dove into the deep end. I started working with Copilot and Gemini and Poe and Pi and Hugging Chat and yes, ChatGPT in order to figure out if it's really true that these can be used as tools. And as it turns out, they can be used as tools, but only if you are an intelligent, carefully minded thinker. One of the things that became very clear to me is that we have an obligation to our students. Our students are also wondering about the future. They're wondering what kind of jobs there are going to be out there for them. They're wondering, is artificial intelligence going to replace certain jobs? It will. Is it going to augment certain jobs? It will. And is it not gonna come close to replacing other jobs? That's true too. So we owe our students ethically, morally, to, to develop these skills and to learn as much as we possibly can about that. So one of the things that philosophy does in in thinking about the questions of artificial intelligence is how can we develop students to still be uh, civically minded citizens, to still be able to think creatively, to think outside of, to think above, and also with the tools that artificial intelligence offers. Because those skills are going to allow students to be able to develop new ways of thinking and being in the workforce. And those are the kinds of students who will be workers who are not going to be easily replaced. So one of the most important things that I realized in learning about artificial intelligence is that the common wisdom, which is kind of funny to say because how common can it be if it's only a couple of years old, is that think of artificial intelligence as an assistant. Think of it as a tool. And that means that it's not just computer scientists or people in digital media who are going to be using it. It's all of us. And that maybe if we are smart about it, if we're educated about it, if we continue to develop all of the skills that traditional forms of education give us, then we can find new ways to think outside of the box, to find new professions, and to use artificial intelligence in ways that we can't even imagine. Because the truth is, it's so new, we can't really imagine where it's going. So I believe that it's on all of us to learn as much as we can, to not use it if we don't want to in certain ways, to use it in ways that we find to be ethical. And also, one thing I have found is to be transparent with our students. Let them know how you're using it. Let them know how you think they ought to use it. Tell them that they have to be forthcoming if they are using it and how they are using it. Give them limitations about what you think is fine at what point in an assignment or what point in the semester that they can use artificial intelligence. Because that way, if you're transparent, and they're transparent, you can work together to come up with all sorts of new ideas. And that's what I learned in my past year overcoming my existential crisis about artificial intelligence. Tell us what career you're thinking about going into and where you think artificial intelligence could help that career. Comment below.